I have to say, this series is completely different than anything I was expecting. Literally last week set me up in a different way than I was expecting when I was watching the first episode, but this episode, it just is delivering so much, like, sexual humor that is legitimately funny to me, but also, it's just so unexpected with Toru being madly in love with our main character, and she fully says it, like, it's not pandering around like, oh, is this borderline Yuri? No, she 100% loves her in a sexual way. She says that, and she gets jealous with anyone who gets too close to her, even this little girl dragon who comes in thinking that Kobayashi is stealing Toru and even says you need to get out of here you pervert you slut it was just it was insane seeing that but I like how they're not tiptoeing around that they're saying no this dragon Toru 100% loves her and this little child doesn't want Toru to be taken away from her it was such an entertaining concept and I just love the comedy it's going for it's so different from every other series this season as there is so many comedies this season but they have their own charm this charm for this is we have this dragon in a human world world they have similarities but it's so interesting seeing the dragons interact like when Toru was explaining how human things work to this other dragon and she's saying yeah the seesaw is actually like a practice catapult yeah yeah it's a practice catapult oh these cars use magic and you need a device called a driver's license like things like that really have its charm but also that sexual comedy and just Kobayashi being like, what am I dealing with here? Like, these dragons could destroy Earth if they wanted to, and here they are, like, going Dragon Ball fighting right now. Like, it's just insanely entertaining and the character dynamics is amazing and I'm just surprised they already added another main character in only episode 2. Like something like this I would expect episode 5, episode 6 when we would get a new character but they're already throwing a new character and it doesn't feel out of place. It feels so natural for them to basically have this other dragon as we have this jealousy and this rivalry between everyone here and Kobayashi's just like listen I just want to have my life here but if you guys want to live here that's okay and it's interesting that it worked because I wouldn't if you would have told me last week we're going to throw a new character into this next week and it's going to be a main character, I would have thought, I don't see how that can work. You know, we really haven't had enough time with Toru. We haven't really had enough time with just Toru and Kobayashi. I wouldn't think it would work, but somehow they made it work adding in this new character as it adds to the charm and not take away from it. Now, if they were to add a third character in a couple of episodes, it may feel out of place, but I think having these three so far in this one apartment, it's an interesting enough dynamics, there's enough comedy and enough situations that they can be thrown into. It's going to keep it refreshed. And I'm sure we're going to see other dragons throughout the series. Maybe we won't, but I assume it is going to go on that row. But so far, like adding into this character actually added a lot to this episode and made it much more enjoyable than the previous episode. I mean, it would be hilarious if this honestly became a harem and Kobayashi's just like, listen, I just, I just want to have a normal life here. Why are all these dragons hot and bothered for me? <laughs> but I mean, so far, I really like it. We have Toru who is sexually attracted and loves Kobayashi for saving her. And then we have this little child who's literally just a sweet and innocent child and just has a madly kind of like sisterly or motherly love for Toru at least that's how I got the situation from myself and just everything about it was interesting like Toru staying in human form and literally tackling and beating down this purse thief there were so many situations throughout this episode that were just legitimately funny but I honestly think adding Kana to this series at this early in the stage is actually a really positive thing for this series I didn't think it would be based on the fact that this is only episode two but it's adding so much to it while not making it feel too clustered at an early stage I mean if we have three or four characters by episode five it might feel a little too clustered but so far with the cast we have I think there's enough space for everyone that they all have their own time to shine and feel important and also have their own comedy gags I mean just even at the end there when the two of them go to see Koyashi at work and she looks at him and she can see him peeking behind the clouds like things like that it's so simple and cute but they all have their own individual times to shine I just love it I mean the series is fun it really really is fun it's not going super insane but I really love not only the artistic direction it's very lucky star in a lot of ways to me I love it a lot which isn't surprising as Kyoto Annie did both of those series it's very lucky sir but it has its own charm it has its own flair and feels a lot different than a lot of comedy series that I've seen and when it comes to anime I just really like Toru as a character she's a really interesting character I mean just having her explain the human world to Nana was it was something else I mean you knew it was gonna crash and burn but it was even funnier than I was expecting I mean she got some things right like crepes and ice cream but the seesaw like really like it was just insane to see something like that happen and for her to explain it as like a catapult but also to see how she interacts with the world why she won't go to the supermarket as it reminds her of a castle and she prefers this market that's outside as it reminds her as like you know merchants that would be outside on their own stalls I like things like that 
that and seeing how the dragons interact with the world while not making it feel completely weird or out of the ordinary. But I think my favorite line in the entire episode is when Toru says, I'm never going to wash my hand again when they were holding hands coming back from that supermarket. Like seriously, it's such a stupid and cheap comedy gag, but it had me laughing. I love that. It was so good. This series is so good to me. Some people are calling it a moe blob. Like, I mean, sure. I mean, aesthetically, you can say that, but there's so much soul and so much charm to this series. I can't help but just have a great time with this. As I am with a lot of the comedy series from this season, but I love this episode. I thought it was great. You can say not a lot happened because in terms of like, oh, where are we progressing a plot? But really the plot is we have Kobayashi in her apartment going to work and having weird adventures with these dragons and in doing so it actually did progress the plot quite a bit as we have a brand new character whole new situations we can be thrown into and I can't wait to see where episode 3 goes so for anyone who watched the episode what did you think of this how are you finding our new female dragon here because I thought she was a nice addition to the cast so let me know your thoughts and as always hit that like button if you did enjoy the video if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one